Yeah, hello everybody. And it's a uh, testing time tonight uh, for this new Pioneer deck I received. So, well, why it opens. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So let's put the tape. First of all, I mentioned that the levels were off, so it was playing a recording like four decibel lower than needed. So I believe it was tuned it up using a uh, round tape. So let's check the level. Yeah, you see. It should be Dolby level and one channel is off. And it's, it's, it's like that, so yeah, it's requires some adjustments. You see one and a half decibel off on one channel. Okay. What is interesting, face was playing really nice. And cold tapes were compatible. So I hope that they didn't touch the heads. And here you may see the head shape, so they look like new for me. Okay, uh, excuse me for a second, I believe I need to wipe out the lens, uh, so you could see better, yeah, like that. So, come on, here, the head. Our what I was able to hear is playing like enormous amount of high frequencies, like the, the most high frequencies I ever heard from the tape deck. And they, they name it wide range system. It's just like right here on this loader in the front. Uh, from what I mentioned so far, there is nothing special in the design, just they use laser amorphous head with uh, capacitors on the amplifier input same as on GVC like uh, like Victor's I have no much difference however from the results so far I've heard we have some okay let's let's do the quick test with this tape it's my frequency response tape let's rewind uh, to the like 400 gears and see how it will perform. And here it's a bit noisy, so the idler tire needs replacement. It should work smoother. And it's it's screaming. And like I believe I would re reassemble like whole tape transport and lubricate it. Um okay. We are getting close and we will be measuring levels using BTVM. I connected this specifically because I I like to check recording later. This Pioneer DAX with this wide range system claimed to record and play 30 kilohertz. That's what we will be trying to achieve. It would be interesting to see. Uh, sorry for this wait. I believe we can start playing. And let me see what we have here. It looks like one, no, 400 gears. Okay, stabilized. 400 gears, and yeah, right, left channel is fine, right channel is a little bit lower by one decibel with this tape freezer. Uh, and it's my, it should be minus 11 decibel. So if we consider minus five here as a zero point, right? And we have switched it to minus 10 decibel, so it's minus 15. And like we have made a calculate that is minus 10 decibel and minus one because we have an image tape and the zero level is a Dolby level. So it should be minus six here and minus 10, it comes to minus 16, okay? And this right channel is uh, one decibel lower, this red scale, red needle. Uh, okay. And we are on one kilohertz now. 
and it still plays fine and smooth in face no any problem and no change in levels okay let's fast forward Still one kilo gears. Okay. Let's fast forward a little bit more. And we have three kilo gears. And levels are almost the same. No change. Let me zoom in here so we can see further. Looks like face a little bit off. Moving on. Rotating to six kilogears. I will make another frequency response tape like to use less times than that. It's a little bit too. Okay, six kilogears, and we have like half decibel change on the left channel and right, like with almost no change. Okay, it's, it's still fine. Let's see, 10 kilogears and 15. Still 6 kilogears. Okay. We have 10 kilogears, and I see difference about one decibel on the left channel and the right channel half decibel. Okay, it's fine, and phase is almost there. You may see yourself on 10 kilogears, it's, it's almost no change, just a little bit of. Okay, so I believe it's a factory phase. So there was some like precision how they do it so plus minus like a little bit it's fine and let's see 15 kilogears where we will get it okay fifteen kilogears and levels lower by a couple decibels same as Sony so this is an Akamichi tape and Sony decks are all work the same way. I believe I have seen a filter. So I see phase 15 kilogears. It's, it just gets right there. Probably it's pinch rollers needs to be cleaned up. And I've seen left capstan needs to be cleaned up. You see, it just gets right there. Uh, so the phase is, is correct. It's good. Levels. Okay, so it's, it's maybe like same as Sony. Uh, levels not much with the condition okay but my dragon plays this uh, dr2 tape pretty well and all dr2s dr1s i fix it play this tape pretty well okay now let's try to record and let's see where is my best tape may 60 if it will define it with type 4 yeah let's get it as type 4 so let's use flat system it works too long for some reason Error. So it cannot adjust. Wow. Wow. So this tape is very sensitive on high frequencies. Uh, so my Sony deck shows like an Akamichi like plus three decibel on the high. So probably it's not enough range to adjust. But let's try Sony tape. Type four. Let's system. Mm. 
mission. Okay, same mission. Assassin run with type 4. Let's see. I was able to calibrate with type 1 so far. Let me see. Again, error. Uh, let's check type 2. Okay, you see how far it goes. Here's the bias. I told you that's too much high frequencies. Type 2 doesn't calibrate easily. Let's see, type 1. So, looks like there was someone messed up or it just was sitting for too long. Type 1 tape. See. Type one works. We can easy. Okay, let's reset counter. Let's set level. Uh, we need to set to minus twenty, right? So Minus 20, it would be minus 25 decibel with a VTVM. Okay, 400 gears. This guy shows minus 25, adjust on the HP is minus 20. Let me adjust a little bit, yeah, you see? As soon as I touch, it shows minus 20. And it's like 0 0.2 decibel, probably, 0 0.1. Okay, so we'll it's it's very precise so i'll go back to exactly minus 25 and it shows minus 20. good very precise indicator so now start and recording and it's tape so see source tape uh-huh about one decibel lower so that will require some adjustments either. Mm -hmm. So let's see, 400 gears, 1 kilogears, and it's tape plane, it will change. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, A left channel going down. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 kilohertz on type 1. It's still holding up. It's still recording. <laughs> 20, 21, 22, 23. Still recording. 24, 20. 25 we, we started to, to jump and it's still recording 25 a little bit jumpy I, I need like uh, metal tape <laughs> to, to go further okay let's 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 try metal tape with default settings let's see what you get I would not calibrate I will like clean up belly data Let's go back to 400 gears. Okay, recording. Type 4 start. Uh, and it doesn't record in on type 4, so there is no signal. And nothing here. So source and tape. That's a problem. So. That probably will require much more efforts to bring it back to life than I thought. Uh, let's type type 2. Type 2. If it's will really record. Oh, it shows type 1, so it's, it's a sensor issue. 
yeah, it's records, but its level will be different because bias is off. Okay, so I need to open and clean up the switch, not switch sensor, for this tape type uh, to be able like to do further testing. Uh, I believe this would be it for this part. Thank you for your attention, and see you in the next part. I have ordered the pelts and idle tire, still waiting for them to come. So I have time to work on this guy so far. See you, bye bye.